Yeah. Hey. I work hard every motherfucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? It's Tommy Nada Mass here, back again with another YouTube video. And on today, boys, we're gonna be we are going to be discussing the Dragon Ball Super. Broly movie spoilers. Yes, probably seen YouTube videos all over like the internet with stuff like this. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled, fair warning. This entire video won't be like spoilers and stuff like that. We're just gonna be using my man Gogeta today in Xenoverse 2. But I also want to tack on to some things that are going to be happening in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. We had like an entire synopsis for the Japanese premiere that happened a couple weeks ago and stuff like that. Actually, it was about a week ago, almost two weeks ago. And my boys. We got confirmation that the GOAT, the the pinnacle of fusion, it's not the ultimate fusion, because you guys know Vegito, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Patara is greater than the dance. It's just, it's facts. You be mad about it? Say, say something to Tori, I'm about the shit, all right? But boys, we're going to use, use my man Goji today, and uh, we also want to talk about like what happens in Dragon Ball Super Broly. Movie. There's no Ultra Instinct in the movie. There's no uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta, sadly, because I did. I really want to see that transformation in the movie. Not gonna lie. If I wanted to see anything in the movie, it was that. I, I got kind of tired of Ultra Instinct because of the fact that Goku went into it like three times. Then he he got another fucking hair color change, and I'm just like, bro, this nigga and these transformation. Like, my nigga, is your hair gonna be pink? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. They did that already. Like, fuck. <laughs> but anyways, boys, I, I just really got tired of seeing the Ultra Instinct, but the, the Royal Blue, or like people want like to call it, is the Royal Blue, the Evolution Blue Vegeta is the official name for it. I really did enjoy that transformation. It was like Super Vegeta from the Cell, uh, from the Cell Saga, Android Saga, and like he shot off the Final Flash, the homages in Dragon Ball Super. They were very, very crisp, my boys, and Vegeta's transformation was really, really good. I mean, some people have a problem with it because he was like, he was trying to keep his promise to Kaba, and then that's how he unlocked his latent potential and his inner power and stuff like that. But, I mean, I liked it. I didn't mind it. It's better than what the manga is doing with it, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. The Dragon Ball, like, tournament power arc in the in the manga and the anime, the anime is by far winning, like, by, like, it, it won. Because the, the manga for Super and the tournament power is already over. I think Tori Taro, like, ended it. And stuff that I feel like he was being rushed because they're already on to the next arc for Dragon Ball Super after the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, which is like I think it's like the Galactic Prisoner arc or something like that. So I would do my research on it. I would do like more videos on, on like news and stuff like that if you guys do want to see stuff like that. But okay, now let's tack into these spoilers. My boy Gogeta, the big final fight. From what everyone has said, and that everyone I've spoken to on like Twitter. From the videos I've seen with my man Geekdom, you know Geekdom 101 is like the Dragon Ball Lord. My boy comes with them facts. Like my boy is like just he's he's on point with it's always been on point with it. it's a very very reliable source. Like I, I would say about I give him a good 98.9, if like 99% of the stuff my man posts about and talks about, he comes with straight hard facts and he talks to people. He has connections in the community, so that's really good. It's really good for him, and and he provides so we can all talk about these things, discuss these things in the Dragon Ball community and stuff. So, my boy Gogeta does show up in the movie. I'm, I'm glad that Gogeta shows up in the movie because it's about time they made my boy canon. I think even in the movie, like, Goku, uh, Goku says something along the lines of, along, like, uh, like, how are we gonna fuse? Like, Piccolo, uh, is talking to them, talking to him uh, telepathically and stuff like that, and, P and Goku's like, uh, and Piccolo's like, Goku, why are you losing or something like that? It was like, you guys should be strong enough. And then you, then they come together and then Piccolo's like, well, you guys confused. And then Goku's just like, oh, well, we don't have Patara. And then Piccolo's like, well, we got the other way. And Goku's like, the dance? And then like, well, Vegeta doesn't know it. So they have a couple of attempts. They fail a couple of times. And then finally they get my boy Gogeta. And apparently we actually get a base form Gogeta for the first time like ever. Because if you guys remember in Fusion Reborn back in the day when Gogeta uh, originally showed up, he instantly, he got straight to the point. My nigga went Super Saiyan, boom, boom, pow. That scene was phenomenal. The art was on point. For the movie to be in, like, what was it 1996 or 1997? That movie is so crisp, my boys. That is my favorite Dragon Ball movie to date because Harutagarn, honestly, was meh. I, I would say if it's not, if it, if it's not freaking, if it's not Fusion Reborn, then I would have to say Broly, The Second Coming. 
And then maybe Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan because the, mo- the way that movie ended was super anticlimactic. You got this super bulky character straight up thrashing the Z fighters, and then he gets one punch by Goku. Literally, he gets one fucking punch in the stomach. Uh, but you know, plot, and we have to end the movie at some point. So. <laughs> So that's how they want to do it. But in the second coming, you got the father, son, Kamehameha, or the family, Kamehameha, with my boys Goten, Gohan, and my boy son Goku coming down from heaven. I really didn't understand with the whole Dragon Balls and like Shinron popping up out of nowhere and Goten saying, I wish dad was here because they originally, Shinron didn't get summoned, but they made a wish and the Dragon Balls were gone at the end of the movie. But, you know, plot. But anyways, let's get back to Dragon Ball Super Broly. So my man Gogeta comes in. And apparently Broly is going head up with a Super Saiyan Gogeta, I believe, is from what, we, what we've what we seen and stuff like that. He's going head up with a Super Saiyan Gogeta. My boys, let, let's talk about this real quick because my boy Broly in the movie doesn't even know how to go Super Saiyan. Like, I, if I if I remember correctly from what I was reading and stuff like that, because I did read the synopsis and stuff. If I remember correctly, I think uh, Frieza is having like a flashback and he remembers how Goku went Super Saiyan the first time. And he it shows flashback to Namek and Goku like... Transform into a Super Saiyan, obviously because his friend died, Krillin died, and that was his trigger, anger, straight up anger. So Broly in this movie does not know how to go Super Saiyan, which might trigger a lot of people because he's straight up thrashing like God Goku and God Vegeta, so like that, and then Blue Goku, and then put up a fight. But when I guess when Frieza sees that Broly is getting pushed backward or like that, he needs a trigger to like transform, like unleash his latent potential. So Frieza, being that nigga. <laughs> He kills Broly's dad, aka Paragus, aka the only person Broly has known because what um what I've read and stuff like that, Broly isn't really a knowledgeable character, just like he was in the original like Dragon Ball movies. But he's not a tyrant. He's not like uh oh, Kakarot. He's not screaming it like fifty fucking times, and that's not the only thing he says during the movie. So my man uh gets triggered and he asks feelings that for his father, the only person that's really been there in his life, and like. He, he gets killed, and my boy Broly goes Super Saiyan. This is when all the juicy shit begins to happen, my niggas, because Broly goes Super Saiyan, and he is fucking unstoppable, apparently, because God Goku and God Vegeta get stomped, and Blue Goku, oh, he's actually, from what I, from what we've seen in the trailers and stuff like that, and what we've been, like, reading and everything, my boy Blue Goku, ah, he got the tactics. My nigga Goku is, he, he air palm Broly. I'm surprised nobody talks about this scene, but in the trailer, he like, Broly's coming at him and Goku's just like, bam! If I can show like the clip or if I can find it, I'm gonna show it, but it's this part. It looks super badass in the trailer. He's just like, boom! And you just see a, uh, and Broly's like, ah! Uh, and then he's like, bam, bam, bam! And I'm just like, oh shit, damn! But, uh, boys, if you can't tell, I'm hyped for this movie. It's gonna be the first time I've seen like a Dragon Ball movie uh, dubbed. Before, like, the sub version, because I, hopefully I can see the sub version before I see the dub version. But, I guess for the theatrical experience, I do want to see, like, I do want to go, I am going to go into the movies, like, to go see it and stuff like that. And January is, like, my birthday month, so I'm planning, I might go see it on my birthday. But, me being me, I'm going the night that shit come out, my niggas. Like, and there is no, there's no stopping me. Like, I'm going to the premiere for the movie. I'm going, like, if it shows here, I'm going wherever it's, wherever it's showing and it's close. I'm going to it. The squad will scope. Good, they will scope. Good, keep bring them, keep them. Fuck, <laughs> let's keep it moving. But, <laughs> but shit, like I'm, I'm gonna go see this movie because me being a fan, if you guys have not seen like my room and stuff like that, there's like Dragon Ball shit like everywhere. I actually just recently got that, uh, that new one. If you guys can see it, yeah, I think over there by my TV next to the One Piece one just came in the mail. You can't really see it, but it is. It's a fairy tale piece. Dope anime. I gotta continue watching it for my boy Karen because he says the plot thickens in the final season for Fairy Tale, which I will have to catch up on and I, I might talk about in a future video or something like that. But it, but when it all comes to it, like Dragon Ball related, my boys. But we we we, we started off a bit. But let's get back to my man Gogeta. So apparently Broly is going up, going head up with a Super Saiyan Gogeta for a minute, and Broly gets pushed back so much that Gogeta has to, like. Gogeta ascends essentially and he keeps getting pushed back and Broly unleashes his full power that full strength the thick mo the my boy Broly he gets kind of thick and that's where that that's where them that's where them guns pop in my boys like he he just be sitting there screaming and he like my boy let's get this shit and then my boy Gogeta's like ah nigga you want to step it up a notch I guess it's time for me to go all out and then we finally get it (laughs) boys I think there is a screenshot of it. 
if I'm not mistaken, it was like a really like bad screenshot. It looked like it was taken from like a phone or something like that. But we bought boys, boys. We finally got it. My boy. Gogeta Blue. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta. I think people are honestly underestimating this character. Like, so, so much. People don't realize that, like, this isn't Gogeta from Fusion Reborn. That character, like, let's, like, forget about him. He's not canon. Like, that character does not exist in this timeline. He has yet to exist until the Broly movie. But let's think about it right now. You got a Goku and Vegeta post Future Trunks arc. So this is, so this is uh, after obviously the the events of Vegito arriving, Vegito Blue. So don't even think about that before all the fanboys and everyone's like, oh my God, Gogeta's greater than Vegito and all this other crap. No, no, it, it's if Gogeta were to fuse back then against Zamasu, the result would be the same, and they would most likely defuse and Trunks would like. Sword Hope Slash, like, they, they retcon it. But now, we have been told that the Fusion Dance just lasts for 30 minutes, and you can use, this, you can use like, essentially as much power as you want to in those 30 minutes. And to me, that concept just did Gogeta's character justice for me. Because honestly, like, Gogeta, okay, he's a badass. I love his character design. Like, honestly, he's more aesthetically pleasing to me than, Go, than Vegito is. But Vegito, like, from Dragon Ball Z, like, no, there's no topping that. He was, like, a cocky bastard. You could obviously see that there was more Vegeta side in Vegito than Goku. Because, like, Vegito, like, the whole hands crossed, kicking your ass with my feet shit, being in your base form and stuff, like, that shit was badass. Like, he, he got straight to the point against Janemba. He went Super Saiyan. And then he soul punished him. One of the most iconic scenes in Dragon Ball to this date. That's one of the best finish moves. Like, combined with Goku and Vegeta, the final Kamehameha, or the Soul Punisher, I'm taking that Soul Punisher to end the game every single time, my boys. Like, that move is just clutch. And me being more, uh, I would say more lenient, more leaning towards the Vegito, like, bias and stuff like that. Because there are, I feel like there's less Vegito fans there are, than there are Gogeta fans. Like, Gogeta is, like, ex an extremely hyped character. I understand why he's hyped, but if you, if you try to compare the two, I mean, I guess he really didn't beat Janemba. If you want to, like, be reasonable about it, he, like, cleansed him. He cleansed his body, soul punish. My boy just, my boy Janemba, like, just turned back into, like, the little janitor kid. And Gogeta was just standing there, and he laughed. He was like, huh. And then, like, that was the end of that. And, but that, that's honestly how that went. So did Gogeta really win? Did he kill Janemba? I guess you can say he, he got rid of the evil spirits in him. But if Soul Punisher is just a move to get rid of, like, the evil spirits and stuff like that, or the evil, or the negative energy, one would say, then I would I would still have to say that Vegito takes the dub, because if, if you look back and tack on it in the Boo Saga, it was even stated, like, multiple times that uh, Vegito's plan was to essentially get absorbed by Boo because they wanted to free their friends. Vegito, at any point in time in that fight, could have killed Majin Buu. Like, he could have incinerated him. He, he literally took, like, a piece of his hair or whatever like that. Or took, like, his skin or whatever. Like, he had his hair. Like, it, the little antenna thing. I keep saying hair because it's Buu, but Buu doesn't have hair. It's like the little antenna thing. The little low. He grabbed it. It was regenerating. And he fucking incinerated it. Like, easy. And then he just put holes in my boy. Easy. Done. Vanito. He was up out of there. If he wanted to final Kamehameha, final Kamehameha, his ass. He could have, or spirit sword him, whatever. Like he, he was doing that stuff. He was being fast. He just chopped him into blows body into pieces. He tried to come at him twenty different times. Boom, boom, boom. He even beat his ass as a piece of candy. Like my boys, Vegito, Gogeta. Like I'm, I'm sorry. It like this movie is gonna make like a lot of fans think that like Gogeta is like drastically stronger than Vegito and stuff like that. But you gotta think about like the time stamps and stuff like that. Like I'm saying, like Vegito was in the anime. Gogeta is obviously in a movie. The, their their appearances are going to be different. One is going to be more flashy than the other. Obviously, episode 66 of Dragon Ball Super was one of my favorite episodes to, to like to date because Vegito is Vegito. Like, my boys, the hype was real. Vegito came back. Oh, shit. Zamasu, he was pushing them back. And what do you know before he could deliver the finishing blow? They fucking defused. Or what was, the state, what was stated in the manga? Uh, when, they shot the when they shot off the final Kamehameha, he used up too much energy or something like that. So they defused quickly. Uh... They diffuse more quickly than like the, the normal timer or something like that. Or I think it was like the timer is like an hour and they defuse because they retcon the Patara. Because back in Dragon Ball Z, when they were fusing, they was like you would be stuck together forever. But 
anyways, that that's my end of the Vegito and Gogeta debate, like and stuff like that. For the people that honestly think Gogeta is stronger, I'm I'm sorry, my dudes, he, he's not. It's just these are facts. Like it's not even me being like biased or anything like that. Vegito is just the more like superior fusion. I, I guess you can you can say it the ultimate fusion. As people like to call Gogeta. Like I. I already see it, but I know in this movie my boy is going to show out. I expect some flashy things from my man Gogeta, like being if he goes Super Saiyan God, because we haven't seen any panels from that. We've only seen base form, uh, what is it, Super Saiyan and obviously Super Saiyan uh, God, Super Saiyan, or okay, Super Saiyan Blue, most people call it. So I don't know if he goes Super Saiyan God, but if he does, that'd be pretty badass. I would, I do want to see it, but I, I don't know. How do you guys feel about like the Dragon Ball Super like Broly like spoiling stuff like that? How do you guys feel about the ending with uh Broly still being in the universe and stuff like that? Because if if I'm not mistaken, Broly is saved by uh, who's it? Chile, the little green girl. She like feels bad for him or something like that. They people are saying it's like a love circle or anything like this. It's not anything like love or anything like that. I don't think they're they're gonna get shipped together. They could possibly get shipped. I mean, I had to watch the movie myself. Like maybe I'm gonna go to, probably go to the movie like twice and then I give like my honest thoughts about the movie and stuff like that after I see the movie. But they might get shipped. Maybe not. I I don't know. But. From what I was hearing, it's more like uh, she feels bad for Broly because he like doesn't have anybody anymore, and when Paragus being dead, they just yeah, it's like makes my boy like he's just depressed. He's a depressed saying, and he got his ass whooped by by two of uh, the baddest niggas in the show. I'm sorry, like m my boys, you got Broly, you got Goku and Vegeta, like, and then you got Gogeta, like nigga, no, oh my god, like, <laughs> but boys, all right. So, I guess this is more of a spoiler talk video, not so more so of uh, the Gogeta gameplay, but this is part one. There'll be two parts for this video. Part one is more like the spoiler talk and stuff like that, but part two will be the Xenoverse 2 Gogeta gameplay, because I want to play with my man Gogeta and destroy some noobs in this game. So, we will get into that. As soon as I get done recording this, I will record this, edit it, upload it. And we will, we will get this out for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Drop a like for more. Dragon Ball like discussions or like content or like spoiler talk. I, I don't know. Like you guys want me to talk about like anime or something like that. I don't know. Like honest opinions about Attack on Titan. Like boys, my favorite anime would surprise a lot of you. My favorite anime is High School DxD. Not gonna lie. Like my niggas. <laughs> okay, people that know me know that this is my favorite anime. But there's a lot of reasons why High School DxD is my favorite anime. And I can't put any photos or like clips or anything like that from the show. I could. But it'd be pretty hard not to not to not to show some of that plot, my niggas, if you know what I mean. Because, huh, boys, even even the small girls in the show, they it, it's there, my niggas. It's all uncensored, uncut, and I recommend the dub for anybody that's never seen High School DxD. But all right, boys, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Drop a like on the video. That actually like helps me out a lot, and I've been noticing like that. I don't, I don't know, it's about this thing with, like, YouTube lately. Like, I guess something happened. I haven't read into, like, the specs or anything like that. But something happened like, YouTube and the frame and stuff. And, like, people aren't getting notified for, like, videos and stuff like that. So, uh, or, like, it's been pretty hard to, like, find smaller channels and stuff like that. Or, like, even the bigger channels and stuff like that. People aren't getting, like, notifications and stuff like that. So, click that bell on the channel for your boy. That helps me out a lot. Like, leave a comment. Leave, like, you want to leave some nice words, leave some bad words. If you want to say, hey, I like your Bill Cosby sweater, because my dad talks about this shit all the time. <laughs> it's actually pretty cold. It's snowing where I am right now, so, uh, yeah, I, I had to cut the heat on, like, and, and boys, peep the rosé shirt. You guys know the divine God, the finesse God, you know. You, you, you guys know how it is. And it's been your boy, Not A Master, keeping it real. This is part one of a part two video. I'm gonna see you guys in part two.